Hi guys, today we have a really very special guest, uh, one of the first and I think it's the, one of the best mermaid performance and she's from Sweden, uh, she's mermaid Atira and she's going to be our guest today. Hi Atira, how are you? Hello, I'm good, thank you. Okay, great. How is the weather out there? It looks like warm, huh? <laughs> well, it's pretty cold today, not okay. snowy but uh, rainy. Okay. Oh, I I really don't like these rainy winter days. Like it's brownish and grayish. It's not really fun. Huh? <laughs> no. But I think you are looking for the warm sunny days, right? Oh yes. Okay. I long for the summer. Okay. Perfect. So guys, uh, we have uh, Mermaid Atira is going to be uh, today with us, and she's going to answer our questions and she's going to talk about herself. So we are really excited to hear from you, Atira. So uh, if it's okay with you, let's start with like, why don't you tell us a little bit of yourself? Like who is Atira? Just about yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, mermaid Atira is the uh, mermaid side of me. Okay. And I feel that this is the, my best side uh, okay. because when I'm a mermaid, I'm uh, bubbly. I can spread joy with the children and I'm curious about the world around me. Okay. I can dive deeper and dive, swim faster, for example. Okay, so actually I was right. Uh, when I wrote on the, on the post, like, uh, home wherever the ocean is, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, so how did the mermaid journey start? Or what were you doing before? And what motivated you to the mermaiding? Mm -hmm. So I was born in 1989 which is the year that Disney's Little Mermaid came out. So we also went to Disneyland in Paris when I was about four. Okay. So this movie had a huge impact on my life. Uh, I came home and I only drew mermaids, even cats and mermaids, uh, <laughs> cats and dogs with mermaids. And I started collecting them. So she's been like a um, spirit guide throughout mm -hmm. all of my life in different shapes and sizes. And then in 2012, I found out I could get my own tail. So of course I had to make that lifelong dream come true. Uh -huh. So that uh, motivates other than that, uh, sorry? So that motivates you to become a mermaid in the beginning. Yes. Okay. So, uh, and then uh, uh, how it happened, uh, how, uh, how this, all this performing and all this Atira brand, how it came up? Well, in the beginning, I was just doing friends, uh, children's parties, for example. Uh -huh. But, you know, like any job, you need to have education. Mm -hmm. So I took uh, mermaiding classes in England to improve my technique. Mm -hmm. I took a mermaid instructor class in Denmark, so I could teach children how to okay. use the tail. And of course, the most important one is freediving. Mm -hmm. So I can learn how to hold my breath for a long time and how to deal with accidents in case they would happen. Mm -hmm. So all of this is important in case you become a performer. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm just curious, what's your uh, most unforgettable memory in your shows or in your classes, in your performances? Mm -hmm. just... uh, in, in the aquarium, I would say that you don't really expect to see much because when you go down, you don't have any goggles. You don't see yeah. much and you don't hear much. So you don't really know what's going on on the other side of the glass. Uh -huh. But now and then uh, the kids have been so excited. So I can see their hands moving when <laughs> I do the game with them mm -hmm. and I can hear their joy. So that, that was really amazing when I felt the connection between uh, through the glass. Okay. And uh, on kids' parties, I always pretend that I don't know about human stuff. Mm -hmm. So when the kids get to eat their hot dog, for example, I'm like, um, what's that? So we don't have those in the ocean. And they're like, oh, you've never had a hot dog? And then they get really excited to see me try it. And oh, what was it like? So that's also really fun. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so how it feels to be a mermaid and to be admired by those kids, by your viewers? What kind of feelings do you have when you are doing your performance and your shows? 
Well, I do mermaiding mainly first for myself mm -hmm. because uh, the feeling is just amazing. When I dive down as a mermaid, I feel beautiful and empowered and fast and strong. So that's the magic of being a mermaid. And I love to see that I get to affect kids to share this magical love with me, just like I did when I was a little girl, mm -hmm. uh, to see their dreams come true. Okay. Um, and sometimes you have a bad day um, and you read the comments like, oh, you're such an amazing mermaid, you're beautiful, I want to be like you. And that just brightens your day. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. I feel like I love having that audience because they help me become better and improve and give me lovely ideas. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think also, you know, uh, mermaiding is a little bit of, uh, not actually a little bit, like quite a, a good tool to give the awareness of the environment and also uh, like to keep our oceans clean. Uh, so how do you use that, uh, that, that tool? Uh, to just mm -hmm. uh, create this awareness uh, about the environment and also about uh, about the oceans. Uh, so, what uh, what actually you are doing uh, for that? Mm -hmm. uh, as a mermaid performer, I feel you have a responsibility to try and protect our home, our ocean. Uh, we know we have many environmental issues and problems. So, I think uh, one, our lifestyle should reflect that. Uh, mm -hmm. We should sort the trash and all that. And then, of course, we should also help humans to learn about the ocean and how to clean it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do this on events where yeah. kids get to play games where they learn about mm -hmm. sorting the trash, for example, and help clean the beach. And I'm also currently writing a children's book okay. where, yeah, it's about my mermaid and oh, I'm facing like... the different, <laughs> I'm facing the problems in the Baltic Sea. So it will help us in the long run because the kids will learn how to help the ocean. And I'm also thinking that part of the profit will go to organizations that help the ocean. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. uh, in my days when, when I was working in, the, working in Sweden as a dive instructor, I mean, uh, of course, after the confined water practices, after the pool, we, we went to the, to the sea, of course. It, that's the Baltic Sea. And that's uh, one of the, uh, I can say it's like a dead sea. It, it's like a gift for, for me to see something alive under the mm. water. It, 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 it really looked like, the, uh, looked like a dead sea. And besides, like it's green and dark water, it's okay, but nothing lives there. So that's, uh, okay. I mean, I, I think it's also because of the environmental issues, like in the past decades, uh, it became like this. I don't think that it was like that before. Mm. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So, uh, what's your secret? Now, I need, I need that. What's your secret? What are the, what are the points of being a great performer? Okay. Uh, like I said before, you have to think of it as a job. Okay. You need the education, uh -huh. uh, experience, uh, you know, to be qualified. Yeah. And then. Uh, it's easy to think that it's just very glamorous because you see the pretty tails and the um, accessories and the makeup and it looks beautiful, right? But uh, if you look behind the scenes, it's pretty, it's a lot of hard work. Um, being a mermaid, you live a cold life. I mean, swimming in aquariums, the water is cold because yeah. the sea animals need the cold water. And it's difficult to go to different places because you're in a tail. Um, I've been making entries with a wheelchair, uh, a security guard got to carry me one time. Okay. So um, in order to be able to deal with all those things, you need to really love what you do. No, okay. If you have a passion about it, um, yeah. the audience, the kids, they will see that. And you will be comfortable in the water with your eyes open and be able to communicate with the kids through the window and all that. So I think that's even though there are many obstacles, if you really love what you do, there won't be a problem. Okay, so I, I think love is the key. Love and the passion is the key of success. And yeah. I think it's and not only in it, 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 it's also in everything. Like love is the key, right? Yes, and yeah. always learning. 
learning, learning. Never like you can learning. always become a better version of yourself. Yeah, exactly. You're true. You're correct. Uh, so uh, do you have any re recommendations for the new beginners? Well, if I, when I was new, I would start by um, taking a class or something mm -hmm. where I can try the tail, see if it's something that I like and how it works. And then I could take more classes to improve. Uh, secondly, I would probably make my persona, mm -hmm. like what colors, colors do I want, what personality? Am I more of a siren type or the nice kind, mm -hmm. for example? Yeah. Uh, and then always forget, and not forget to do not swim by yourself. Always have a buddy. Exactly. True. Safety first. Exactly. Correct. Uh, just, uh, I'm curious. Uh, I just want to, uh, I, I will be happy if you can just, uh, just introduce your outfit to the to the weavers, uh, how they can become a mermaid. Okay, step one to become a mermaid, uh, check your country or a city for a mermaid class. Mm -hmm. We can try the tail, uh, see if it's something for you, and then you can take more classes if you want to learn more technique. Uh, two, make up your persona. Like what name would you have? What personality? Are you more of a siren or a nice mermaid? Yep. What colors do you have? What accessories? Mm -hmm. And then what's three. Your, uh, what's your uh, favorite color? My favorite color, blue. Blue. Always blue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like the ocean. Yeah. Um, okay. So, do you have uh, do you have any final words for the weavers? Uh, what do you want to say? Uh, I would like to say that keep dreaming. Mm -hmm. You can make your dreams true. Uh, your life should be magical. Yeah. So, I mean, forget about all those haters who say we're not real or um, oh, things like that. I mean, we need magic in our lives. And then secondly, try your best to help each other, help the world, help the ocean because you have the influence to do that. Exactly, perfect. It's really amazing to hear those, you know, <laughs> uh, especially in those days uh, of, you know, these, these uh, crazy Corona days, everybody is full mm -hmm. of fear. And uh, it's really nice to, uh, to listen, to, to hear those inspiration from you. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, love is the only way how we can come over from this uh, fearful days and I, I'm pretty sure we are going to see a better and much more beautiful day than days than this so it's not the end of the life we are we are never going to stay at home no nobody can make me do that and and also uh, have you been in Turkey before ever in Turkey yes not yet okay we have a magical place uh, in Turkey, in Denizli, Pamukkale. It's so beautiful. I'm going to send you pictures of that. And I think yeah, it's going to be a great uh, atmosphere for a, for a photo shooting. So mm -hmm. maybe in the that. summer we, we can plan something like that. Sure. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, uh, Atira. Thank you, so, uh, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for your time. I'm so glad to meet you and to do this broadcast with you. And hopefully uh, we will see another day, another time. And also uh, maybe uh, in a couple of months, I'm just going to make a, like a four or five international mermaid performance all in the same broadcast. So everybody can talk about their, uh, their performances, their secrets. So it's going to be much more funny and much more fun uh, interview so mm -hmm. i hope i will see you there also okay cool thank you so Absolutely. thank you so much for today uh, we are so glad to see you and meet you have a good day you too thank you for having bye -bye. me bye, -bye.